Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. Um, so again, I wasn't really recording and then uh, doing some stuff and then this thing came up and said this is going to be a terrible night. And uh, while I wasn't recording, I was just doing a little bit of landscaping. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, clear up a few things. Um, I made this giant tunnel, obviously, and uh, no great reason uh, other than way back up here. Um, do, do, do. Uh, let's see. So the corruption obviously was not stopped by that sunflower, um, but I did get this keen golden shower uh, thing, and uh, I crafted it out of a spell tome, some ichor, and some souls of night, because um, that's you know what I was told to make uh, it out of uh, by uh, what's his face uh, the guide. Um, but the reason I started recording is because you might have seen it. There was this little, uh, not necessarily icon, but a little phrase on the bottom left of the screen that said that this is going to be a terrible night. Uh, so I'm assuming that means one of the bosses is going to appear. Oh yeah, and I also got this Ruthless Poison Staff. Um, that was dropped by a... Uh, oh, twins have awoken. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, I don't have the item that I was hoping I was going to have. Uh, when I fight these guys. Uh, let's see, because what I was hoping for was, um, uh, let's see, I was hoping I'd have the, uh, I was hoping I would have the, uh, mana potion thing, uh, where it automatically refills my mana, um, but obviously I left that in my inventory, and this is actually pretty good, this little running away tactic. Uh, but uh, I'm almost dead, and yeah. Uh, so that's why I built my tower here, and why I tried to make sure that um, I stay near my tower uh, when I'm in a boss fight, because uh, obviously uh, these guys do a lot of damage, uh, and I was actually hoping to have, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but um, the demon, or the angel wings. That's what I meant. Uh, I was hoping I'd have the angel wings uh, by the time I fight these guys, uh, just because... Oh man, this is not going to go good. I don't have any healing potions. Oh no, this is really not going to go good. Uh, oh no. Uh, God dang it. I was hoping... I really hope they stay here. They're probably not, but... Dang it. Because uh, I really wanted to fight them now that they appeared. Uh, those are the twins, <laughs> in case you didn't uh, figure that out. But, uh, man. Uh, so obviously my uh, NPCs have health, so they took damage when the twins went through, but man. Ah. Alright, so that's kind of lame that they uh, just came in and killed me. <laughs> but I was hoping I'd have the angel wings, because uh, that's pretty helpful uh, when you're just flying around, uh, trying to avoid them. Uh, so that was kind of lame. But I got this ruthless poison staff uh, from those flying squid things. Um, but the corruption, obviously, is spreading, uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so I was trying to just dig out a giant tunnel, like a giant gap, uh, in between my house and the corruption. Hopefully to somewhat stop the spread of the corruption. But I think, uh, I'm also going to have to get rid of, uh, this background as well. Uh, oops, yeah so that uh, that way the corruption will stop uh, spreading. <laughs> Hopefully, that's that's what I'm hoping would happen. Um, if not, I'm going to have to figure out something else to do, like uh, somehow just use a bunch of purification powder and just kind of get rid of the uh, corruption manually, <laughs> uh, just to push it back, because I don't want my house to somehow become corrupted, or I want a sort of non-corrupted, non-hollow space near my house, just so that it's a little bit safer <laughs> by my house. Um, but I guess I'm not going to be fighting anything else tonight. Uh, but what I do want to check, uh, well, I already saw it earlier, but just so that you guys know on screen, the magma stone can be fused with the mechanical glove to become the fire gauntlet, which increases melee knockback and inflicts fire damage on attack, and has a 9% increased melee damage and speed. Which I'm hoping to get eventually. Uh, the rash <laughs> white horseshoe balloon uh, cannot be upgraded anymore. The tiger climbing gear can make the master ninja gear. 
uh, if you combine it with the tabby and the black belt. Now I don't know where I'm going to get these. I have an idea that I'm going to test uh, later, but this allows the ability to dash, double tap a direction, and this gives a chance to dodge attacks. So combining all three of these abilities makes the Master Ninja Gear, which I definitely want. Um, the Menacing Obsidian Water Walking Boots can make the Lava Waders uh, by combining it with the Lava Charm. I'm assuming the Lava Charm comes from one of the Shadow Chests in the Underworld, so I'm actually going to go to World Buskis and try using my Shadow Key to open up as many Shadow Chests as I can down there, uh, just to find um, that Lava Charm so I can get that those Lava Waders, because that would be really helpful. Uh, whenever I'm in the Underworld, and the Spectre Boots, or the uh, Lightning Boots, uh, cannot be upgraded anymore. So, what is this? Armor Polish? Huh. I didn't even realize I got that. Um, let's look at that. Armor Bracing, Immunity to Weakness and Broken Armor. If I also equip Vitamins. I don't even know where I got that from. That's interesting. Uh, also, off-screen I fought one of those Ice Golems, uh, and the Frozen Wings. I'm assuming they're the same as the uh, Angel Wings. So I just need 20 Souls of Flight and this one Ice Feather, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, Arcane Obsidian Rose, I've had that for a while. I don't remember where I got it, I think in the Shadow Chest or something. And then Sorcerer Emblem I already showed you. Uh, I guess that was it. Um, I do have a whole bunch of Palladium uh, extra, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, all right, and also I got these uh, Magic Daggers. Uh, they cost some magic, uh, you just kind of throw them out and just do some damage. They're actually pretty strong and uh, pretty cool, so I like them. I like just throwing them around, but um, obviously it costs some mana. And I just picked up some, uh, uh, what's it called, some wooden arrows because I was shooting them off um, in that boss fight. <laughs> and also I was doing a little bit of the landscaping here, in case you can't tell. Uh, just dug out a whole bunch of it, and I'm going to get rid of this stone uh, layer, probably. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's basically what I've been up to, and uh, yeah, that's it for this little clip. Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. Uh, in this episode, well, I guess in this clip, I probably should start off with that clip, with that phrase. Anyways, uh, right now I'm going to try to fight the twins again, and I'm going to actually be a, get a lot more prepared. I put on the Sorcerer Emblem and the Arcane Mana Flower. I've got all these potions, the Thorns Potion, Archery Potion, uh, Magic Power Potion, and I think I had something else, but maybe not. Um, I was also going around, and apparently there's some kind of Halloween theme uh, going around, because I got some pumpkins, and I talked to Dylan, the new guide, and uh, he said that I can make pumpkin pie uh, with a furnace, and I'm assuming that means the uh, Titanium Furnace as well. And this uh, says it gives minor improvements to all stats, so that's good. Uh, but then also, let's look at some other stuff. Uh, I have some meteorite because I'm going to make some meteorite bullets, or meteor shot uh, bullets. And uh, I caught a whole bunch of money, not really sure how, uh, but I'm going to get the mini shark, which is a very fast uh, firing weapon. Very strong. Um, well, okay, maybe not that strong, but it has a really good, uh, insanely fast attack speed. Uh, so that's pretty good. And you can actually make it better with uh, some stuff, but eh. <laughs> okay, hold on. So Zealous, alright, has 5% uh, critical strike chance. Now I've got to go all the way back down uh, to my furnace or crafting table thing. And let's see, can I make it? Yeah, uh, Meteor Shot. You just need 70 musket balls and um, one meteorite bar. I've got plenty of both. Uh, so let's see uh, how much I can actually make. Apparently, uh, not that much. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, 980, that's kind of a lot, but, um, all right, so I've also got the Mithril Repeater, and now the Zealous Mini Shark, and my, uh, let me switch that around, uh, my Golden Shower, so those are all pretty good weapons. Um, I replaced my Tiger Climbing Gear, uh, with the Sorcerer Emblem, and the Arcane Mana Flower with the, uh, Obsidian Water Walking Boots, because those two things I don't really need when I'm fighting the twins. So, uh, let's see. I should have everything I need. Just double checking because I want to make sure that I'm actually going to fight this thing right. And I guess uh, with that, let's let's do this. All right. Uh, press B to activate all my buffs. And uh, all right. So um, for some reason, there's only one here on screen. 
That's strange. Uh, I'm only fighting one at a time. Oh, there's the other one um, appearing down at the bottom. But uh, the way this works um, is that they're both uh, connected by that little cord, as you can see. Uh, I don't remember which one you're supposed to defeat first, but uh, they do have different attacks, so uh, it's generally better to defeat one before the other. Uh, I just don't remember which one. <laughs> it's Spasmatism and uh, Retinator, I think, or something like that. Uh, and what's cool about the Meteor Shot is that it ricochets, I think. <laughs> so even if I miss the actual eye, uh, because the building is in the background, I might be able to, um, I might be able to hit it with that, uh, with the ricochet. But uh, let's see. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to use uh, my Iker Blast or uh, my golden shower thing because that lowers the defense of whatever it's hitting and I'm not sure exactly whether or not the um, uh, what's it called the uh, I'm trying to focus on flying around and not paying attention to uh, what I'm doing but um, or what I'm saying I mean uh, I'm not sure if my uh, zealous mini shark is stronger than my uh, mithril repeater and I, sh I need to keep an eye on my HP. Uh, I wonder if there's like a regeneration potion. I don't know. Uh, health regeneration potion or something. Uh, to obviously increase my health regen. Uh, but let's get to nurse quickly. Heal and get back into the battle. Alright. Uh, I don't want to get too close to the house because I don't want uh, the twins to end up attacking. <laughs> Uh, my uh, NPCs. I think I was supposed to kill this one second, <laughs> uh, um, just because of uh, that flamethrower breath uh, is very dangerous. And um, obviously, like the Eye of Cthulhu, when they get to half health, uh, they uh, split in half. Why can't I use my health potions? Do I not have any more health potions? How do I not have any more health potions? Why isn't H? There we go. Okay, that uh, was a little frustrating, uh, or a little distracting, I guess, and oh, I'm gonna die. I am so dead. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I am losing health very fast. Whew, got around to the other side, and uh, let's just run away as- ah, oh, dang it, I jumped right into that. Uh, man, I thought I was doing pretty good. I got one to half health, that's, you know, half the battle. <laughs> well, a quarter of the battle. Man. Dang, so those are tough. Obviously I need more armor and uh, better healing uh, properties. But I mean, I had all these things going for me. I had the magic power, uh, the mana potion to keep my mana going, uh, lesser restoration power, but I was using the healing potion. Uh, yeah, I was using the healing potion. Archery potion, increased arrow speed and damage, so I guess I should have been using arrows. Thorn, yeah, that should have helped. Oh well, that's lame. Uh, I thought I was actually going to win that one <laughs> because of all the preparations I had. And, uh, oh, uh, like I said, the Halloween theme, apparently all the enemies are sort of, uh, costume, or dressing up as costumes, so the bunny is dressed up as a slime, and, uh, earlier I saw a slime that was dressed up like a bunny, and, uh, apparently pumpkins are growing everywhere, so that's interesting. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of lame, I was really hoping to actually win on that one, uh, but here's a bigger pumpkin that, uh, Obviously, just give me five pumpkins, <laughs> apparently. Um, and uh, what was that? <laughs> I just ran into something and killed it. So, anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for uh, this episode. Just exploring a little bit more because of the whole Halloween thing. And Oh, that's a uh, raven. Is that an enemy? Is I think it's an enemy. Yep, it's an enemy. But uh, <laughs> obviously not very strong. Um, so, yeah, I guess like I said, uh, it's going to be it for this episode. I was really hoping to defeat the twins. I thought that that'd be good enough. But um, uh, if any of you have this game and or are at this point, and what did I just pick up? Uh, it looked like, huh, that's strange. It looked like some kind of candy apple or something, but I don't see it in my inventory. So, oh well. Um, this is a Hoppin' Jack, <laughs> which apparently is just, I just, I guess it is just like a slime. Uh, demon eye. Not really sure if that's supposed to be dressed up as anything. And just the wraith is uh, normal. Alright, so uh, let's see. Anything interesting down here? 
now. But as I was saying, uh, if any of you have this game and are uh, at about the same level as I am, I guess if you're like super awesome armor and everything, uh, you can still join. But it'd be kind of cool just to fight the twins with um, fellow subscribers. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to uh, set up the multiplayer server type thing. Um, there's a video that I watched that kind of explains it, but it takes a little uh, explanation, I guess. I don't know. Um, if you already know, then that's good. But uh, <laughs> uh, maybe we can set up some time, maybe Saturday uh, or just some other time uh, when we can all uh, play at the same time and uh, defeat the twins. And I think it's going to take uh, something to summon the twins. I don't have, I don't think I have any other things. And really, that was like a Karma Apple thing. But what was that? <laughs> it doesn't say. I guess it's just money. That's interesting. Um, hmm. But uh, anyways, so yeah, there's that. And I'm exploring the hollowed area. Hopefully it's not too dark <laughs> uh, in this land or in the night, I guess. Um, I still don't have my water walking boots. <laughs> Uh, so that's why I can't walk on the water, but... Alright. Okay, so... <laughs> keep saying that I'm gonna stop playing, and then I just keep playing, because I want to keep playing. And, uh... Ooh, titanium ore. See? That's why you don't just give up. <laughs> ah, I should have paid attention to that sand. Um, Alright. So, obviously, there's a bunch of sand right here that I'm gonna have to get rid of, and it's pearl sand, uh, because it's the hollowed area. So everything's pearl stone and pearl sand and all that. All right. Uh, also, I, I guess I, eh, I kind of would like uh, if any of you uh, already have like the best armor and like extra of the best armor or something. If you wanted to give it to me or something, then that'd be cool. But then like, it's kind of like cheating because obviously I'm not actually uh, collecting all of it on my own and all that. But uh, if you are right with me using it, at least for like the boss battle or something, then I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, just checking down here to see if there's anything else. And it's just some iron ore, which for some reason I still want to mine, even though I know it's pretty much useless now. And even the palladium, uh, I don't think there's anything useful I could make out of palladium anymore. Uh, but I could be wrong. And am I even picking it up? Uh, <laughs> I've got pretty much full inventory. Alright, there we go. Now I picked it up. And, yeah. Alright, so anyways, back to the house. Uh, let's see, what can I make out of what I have? And what do I have that I can make stuff with? <laughs> I can make some pumpkin pies. That's always nice. Uh, let's see, some iron. Uh, some palladium, and oh yeah, some titanium, duh. Because I picked up a little bit of titanium, and very little, <laughs> very little titanium. Uh, but let's see. Or wait, what was I saying? Titanium? Was I saying titanium? I feel like I wasn't, but... <laughs> anyways, okay, I've got 16. That's not really enough to make anything useful. Well, I guess it is enough to make a helmet. But uh, I did notice here, uh, it does say set bonus now. 5% increase to melee critical strike chance. Well, I guess that's not actually very helpful. <laughs> so, uh, if I do get uh, better titanium armor, that's 16 defense. This is 23. So yeah, that's definitely better. Um, and I'll put that there, and let's see, what does that look like? Meh. Oh well, that's also uh, with the silver die. So yeah, not much of a difference. Um, Alright, so I'm going to keep the wizard hat, just because I like it. Uh, Alright, so I guess that's going to be it. Uh, just make a little bit of iron. Come on. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.